Hello. Now we are going to add better visualization for our groups and our contents and our talks. I always I'm always confused between our hierarchy. Like here, I think it's groups, then top to the content I said wrong. Okay, let's start our server again because I think this database is empty. I think I just cleared this database. Yep. Then I'm going to start it again. If I refresh here, it will be zero. Okay. Then we have the code to put the initial data. Yeah, it's working. Let me clear this. And why I am in this like mobile mode? Like if you don't know, you can just open your developer console here using like inspect or using like some shortcut like I'm doing here. And then you can click here. But why I want to make some UI chains and why do I open this first? Because I use an approach that's called mobile first where, yeah, it's okay. Mimosa sometimes it's like trying to swallow something. I don't know what's happening. Then going back to here, like why I do this? Because mobile first is the idea that I'm going to try first to, to make this app very mobile friendly. And then later I can change something. Like one very nice example that I can show you, like maybe the Meteor Cloud dashboard would be a good example because I, I changed this very, like it was very recent, this change, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, it can be like this. Yeah, if I am going to reduce here, then can you see? Like it's just using one column, but if I go big, it's going to use like four columns. Then, but the idea was to first think in the mobile. Then I think it's easier for us to make decisions. And then later you can adapt to desktop. Okay, you can do in the other way, but I don't recommend you do both ways. Like sometimes you do desktop first, sometimes you do mobile first. And I don't recommend this because you're going to use something that's called media query to know how, when to switch, uh, when to make chains. And then if you use media queries using like the minimum widget and also the maximum widget, I think you're going to be, to be lost. Then I don't recommend to use both in the same time. Okay. Um, but okay, let's proceed. Let me go here. What I want to do, it's like a, a grid. Then instead of having this list, that's pretty bad. I'm going to have a list, uh, agree. But first let me go to my homepage because this text is, text is not good, right? I don't know where this text is coming from. I'm going to find now. Okay. This text coming from here. Um, okay. Then this div, I'm going to change this div to be, uh, a different like type of div in terms of style. And I'm going to show you in a moment. Let me just see if I have more. Okay, I just have a div here and then I have another div here. I don't know what is inside here. Okay, this is just using all the, the hate space. Okay, but I have this div here. I don't know why. Why do we have this div here? Oh, that's also like when you use this git annotate command or git blame. I'm just using a dasher cut here to show it. Then you can try to understand what you did, you know, but that was our first comment. Then the first comment. Usually they have this bad name. I don't know if you need this div here. I'm going to remove for now. Because if you have a div that you, you are not configuring properly, maybe you are going to have problems. Okay, this is our first one. Okay, okay. Then like this div here, we have the main and then we have the route and then inside the route we have the home page and you just have the header above it. That's the header. Okay. Okay, then I want to have my my first component here, like my home page, like this component here. It's okay, but I don't want to to lay out my style in a horizontal way because that's the issue here. Can you see? If I go here and I highlight this, can you see it's like horizontally laid out here? What I want to do is to have a column. Then I need to use something that's called flex direction. And I'm going to use column. 
Like the best place to learn flex is to use or to watch this video <laughs> or like flex. Yes, yes, yeah. This guy here from CSS Tricks. Like this video series from West Boss is pretty good. And this is the best place to just do keep checks. Look, oh, what was the name? Flex Rex. So it's here. You know, you can always remember very fast what was searching for. And we're going to choose pretty soon. I was saying grid, 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 because we're going to choose another technique that's called CSS grid. And it's very helpful to mix Flexbox and CSS grid. And also that is discussed by Rise Boss. And I think we also have a good CSS grid on, like this website's pretty famous, like this CSS tricks. And I think they also have a good article about CSS grid. Yeah. Then you have the complete guide for flex and the complete guide for grid. Then you can always double check your understanding. But I recommend to watch these videos from West Boss. I'm going to close West Boss for now. West Boss is the, one of the hosts of a podcast that's called Syntax FM. And it's a very good podcast. And the other host is Scott Stolinski. Scott also is a Meteor developer. And we have a special episode just about Meteor. And it was pretty cool, maybe three months ago. But check out this podcast. It's pretty good about web development. Okay, so let's return here. Then I'm, I'm changing to column. I don't remember if I read save it, but I don't think so. Yeah, I'm going to save now. And boom, pretty easy, right? And we don't see refresh because in the last video, we update Meteor and now we have hot module replacement support. But I don't understand why I have like this big space here, like this white space. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Maybe I have some, yeah, because I don't see anything here. Oh, maybe because the same, this size, it's not considering the header. Hmm, that's funny. Like maybe I need to see what is the size of this header i think it would be like 60. let's see 55 because i think here you can use something that's called calc and then we can do like this less yeah then we don't we don't have this yeah but we still have a little bit of scroll here maybe we have some oh because we have a margin I don't want to have margin, not in this element. Okay, now I don't have scroll because that was what I was expecting to not have scroll because I'm using like 100%, 100, like all the vertical space and I'm removing the space from the nav bar and then I should not have a scroll here because my content is not going over. But later you need to add some like scroll to be able like overflow when if you use more than what you have, then you have a nice scroll and you can even customize the scroll. But for now, that's what I want, okay? Of course, I don't want to be touching the edges, but I can style this in a proper way later. Uh, let me go to my homepage again. I think this one. Yeah, then I can just copy some, some styles here and I can adapt for my own components. Use styles. We can use in main like everywhere, but I usually prefer the first is going to be like the component name. Here we are using a fragment, but I will change for a component. I don't, I don't know if you need to style this, but if I would style like the first container, like the first div, I usually select the same name as the component name, then it's easier to see later. And I can get this here. I don't want this style because I don't want this here. Um, maybe I want this, justify content center, not sure. Oh, that's why this, we have this space here because it was using center. I don't want center anymore. Yeah, now it's going to the top and that's exactly what I want. And in this component here, maybe you can add some margin at the top. I think it would be better. It's, it's going to be column as well, right? Because I'm going to have a title. I think we need to keep this warning for now because the app is still in a not so good state. Then let's just put a margin here. Usually I like to get the margin from, from material. Then you have like the same margin everywhere. I don't remember by default if it's like eight pixels or 
16 pixel let's see like we are applying this margin to the home and what is the margin yeah it's eight pixels you can see like what i said like here home is because i name it home and here main is because it's because the other class that we name as main okay then you can identify easy if you put like it's not going to have a conflict if I use the same name everywhere, but it's going to be hard to identify in the final styles. Okay, it looks better. At least it's not like in the horizontal, like, like a row. But now I need to style maybe this title a little bit, I think. Let's get this like, uh, what's this name? Watch. It's a terrible name because it's a verb. Yeah, it's okay. It's the watch section. Uh, maybe you should reduce the font size. Like we have this mat that is like a... Oh, I think I hit some wrong keyword here. It's trying to start another app. Okay, this watch. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to reduce this font size. Oh, but it's using this class. Oh, okay, I don't need to use this to style the font size. I can just change this maybe subtitle. Yeah, but maybe we should have some, I don't know, like I'm not a designer. How do you make this a little bit better? I really, I'm really not sure. Really, really not sure. Okay, let's ignore this for now. Then my main goal was to change the groups, right? Then let me change the groups. Uh, do I have a style here? Yes, I do. Okay, oh, it's going it's using a generic name. I think I'm going to change for groups. It's probably the first guy here. Oh, it's not used anyway. No, it was not used, but it's going to be. Then it's going to be class name, classes, groups. Okay, uh, I don't think we need this for now, but let's have a, a flex here. Let's have a flex. I can use, I am going to remove this. Maybe you should use the names that are using the group, like content groups. It's going to be bad, right? Okay, but here is the important part. Here's where I want to spend our time today. Like groups, grid. Then I want to create a grid using this CSS technique called grid. Then what is grid? Like first I need to put display grid, I believe. Yeah, display grid. Then I just used grid a few times, but I, last time I used it was very helpful. And then uh, after that, I need to, to select like how I want my columns to behave. Because here my focus will be in the columns. Then like I want to have, oh, always when you use JSS, you need to, to change to camel, please. Then I can put like one FR, one FR, one FR. But remember, I'm trying to do mobile first. Like what, what is one FR, sorry? It's like the columns, how many columns I want. Like this is like the remind, like if you get the space and then you split in equal size, then you can do a lot of different variations here. I just see because we have a, a margin. Why do we have a margin here in the left? Okay, where are these margins coming from? Because I don't see the same. Oh, it's because you are exploding the size. Okay, we're going to fix this. But what I was going to show you, and I, I don't want to have three columns in the mobile because it's a mobile first approach. Then in the mobile, I want to have like this. But what I usually do, I don't think we have here. I don't think so. But I'm going to create a, an utility for me. Then, oh, maybe we have it. Oh, you have it here. Okay, then it's better. I, I want to use this media queries to shape it better if the size is larger. Then what I can do here, I can do like this, like media queries, then I can select like small, and if it's small, I want to have two columns, and then I can do like this. Let me do a test. Can I just do this inside the class, or do I need to have a class? I know if I put the class again here, it's going to work, but let's try this first. Then you can always check like small is 600. Then we can just, if you look here, you can see the width changing. If it's going to 600, yeah, then it works. You can 
I was, I don't know why I was always doing like this. I was repeating the whole style inside here, even the class name. That works as well. But I think like, let me finish. It would be like this instead of like this. But I think it's more verbose, right? Because I need to repeat the name and it's harder to understand. Then I think this one's better. Then if I am above 600 with it, it's going to be two columns. If I'm below, it's going to be one column. I think that's the right call. It's not going to be this collapses, I think, pretty soon. But for now, I'm just shaping the elements. And that's the idea. I'm first shaping the elements, and then later I can do whatever I want inside. But the grid, the, like the disposition in the pages already defined it. Maybe I can also select another one to put three columns. Mm -hmm. Maybe desktop breakpoint, three columns, and that's it. I don't want to have like a lot of columns. Then maybe you can limit the, the maximum size here. Let's, oh, sorry, I hit the wrong window. Uh, let me see, yeah, three columns. But I don't want to have more than three columns. Later, you can probably fix the maximum widget. Then we don't have like this large box because these are going to be like, at least in, uh, what I'm thinking right now, like boxes where you can put the content side and that's it. Yeah, but now at least it's a little bit better. I'm not sure yet how to like call this title here. I'm not sure if you need this like this. Maybe you should have a, a menu here and then you can add a link there to the playlist. But okay, then we, we had our grid and our grid is working in a responsive way already. It's not good yet, but it's already better. And then later you can, we are going to to probably change the content and style it in a, I was thinking like cards, I can show you. Because cards are nice as we can, oh, this is in Portuguese. I don't know why material is always trying to find. I don't use my computer in Portuguese, but it can change here. Like the, what I think it's nice about cards is that we can have like the title here, maybe the number of upvotes. We have like more space to play around with information. Like we're not going to have pictures, uh, but we can have some ideas. Like, and you can also use like material UI, material cards. Material is just the concept from Google. And you probably have a lot of examples here. And even like what you need to do, like and the actions, maybe you can have upvote and like and other actions here. Then I think it's a nice, it's a nice style for us there. Then you can have just the list of cards like with gaps like this, because one thing that you can do pretty fast here if you want, like there is a one that's called grid gap and you can put like 15. Then it's going to add this gap of 15. Oh, <laughs> sorry, not gap, gap. I was thinking about grid. Then can you see, you have this nice spacing like equal like on Flexbox, if you do this, when you have flex wrap, then you have problems with the element that's breaking the line, then with grid is very easy. Then my tip for you, like to wrap up this video, if you're doing something that you you are thinking a lot more like a grid, like with rows and columns, use grid. If you just want to style your layout, like, oh, that is a column, it's a row, then I prefer to use flex. And you can use both together as I'm doing. Like if you see this guy here, the home, it's display facts. And then the guy uh, here, this element here, the groups, it's nothing, but the group grid, it's grid. Then that's a, is the way that I prefer to use these two techniques. And if you disagree, comment below. If you have a better way, comment below and see you in the next video. Thank you.